doing it. Sailor Song by Gigi Perez, the one and only. One, two, three, four, four. Oh, I, I was on a, I, did you see what happened there? I was like, here we go, energy. And then my pick went. The thing about these picks that not many people know is if you just kind of give it a little squeeze, it just vanishes into thin air. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, jeez, the Louise is... I don't know. The Sailor Song. Not the Sailor Song. Just Sailor Song by Gigi Perez. My name is Stuart Alexander Lim Brown. I would like to tell you that this song is in standard tuning. You need a capo on the fourth fret. Also, this song is going to be exceedingly simple and it's going to be a joy and a pleasure and a blast. And this video really should be under five minutes long. If this video is longer than five minutes, I give you my express permission to hunt me down. And if I am eating anything, you can slap it out of my hands. I'm eating a bagel, slap it out of my hands for perpetuity. It could be 25 years from now and you see me eating a croissant and you just go, remember when that video was over five minutes long? Slap it out of your hands. Do you think that you could play for me a C major seven chord? You've got your capo on the fourth fret, put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top, put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. This is a C major seven chord. It's time now for us to learn the strumming pattern. On this C major seven chord, would you please strum down, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Then you're gonna strum down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, karate jump, here we go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. How'd you do? One more time, make it count. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Do it two times in a row. Let's see. Go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, again. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. If you are, this is going to seem embarrassing, but it's not embarrassing. Everybody does it. It's fine. People of the world, friends and relatives, nobody's looking at you anyway. They're all thinking about themselves. That's the stupidest. By the way, that thing about when face your parents say, no, you, there's no need to be self-conscious or embarrassed because no one's even looking at you. They're all just thinking about themselves. It's like, that's not true. I look at other people and go, look at that embarrassing thing that person's doing literally every day of my life, every day at school, in every one of my classes. Can you believe that guy's wearing that shirt? What an idiot. It's horrible, but it's true. So I just wanted to let you know, the next time you're doing something on guitar and you're like, oh man, this sucks. Everybody thinks I suck. Like, okay, I'm not saying you suck, but if you suck, other people are thinking about it. They're going, I'm better at guitar than that guy. This is, okay, I shouldn't have said this. Um, uh, so here's the potentially embarrassing thing you can do to practice. It's not embarrassing at all. You can drum the rhythm of the strumming before you strum it. So if you're trying to get the rhythm in your head and in your heart and in your hands, and you're trying to go down, down, up, down, up, wait, okay, wait, what, what, what was it? Go like this, go. Do it with me, here we go. Here we go one more time, guys. Now, your hand knows what it feels like to play that rhythm, and it might be easier to strum it. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Oh, crap. I just realized this video is going to be way longer than five minutes. So you do that strumming pattern twice on the C major 7. Then we switch to an E minor chord. Just lift up your ring finger and put your pointer finger on the second fret of the second string from the top. Keep your middle finger on that second fret of the third string from the top. So you just go from this to this. Do the strumming pattern twice on this C major 7. Do the strumming pattern twice on this E minor. Let's try it. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, switch. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Guys, 
You do that twice and then you've completed the introduction to the song. Now, if you would like to add a little bit of pizzazz to the intro, I do believe that something on the actual recording is doing this. There's a little hammer on that happens. Check it out. On the C major seven, instead of just going down, down, up, down, up, down, you can go like this. So you do the first strum without your middle finger and then you immediately hammer on to complete the chord with your middle finger and then finish the strumming. So it's hammer down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And you can do a hammer again right at the end if you want. You can go hammer down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, hammer down, up, and then do it again. Let's try it with the hammer on. This is optional. Hammer down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, hammer down, up, hammer down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, hammer down, up, oh, yeah. Did you see what I did there? I did the same hammer on thing with the E minor, but I hammered on with my pointer finger instead of with my middle finger. Pretty cool, right? So those are some optional things you can do if you would like to add pizzazz. I am sick of playing the intro. Let's move on to the verse. The verse goes like this. One, two, listen here. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, oh, down. Same strumming pattern. Did you notice it's the exact same strumming pattern for the entire rest of the song? We do the strumming pattern once on the C major seven without any hammer-ons, just the regular strumming pattern once. Then go to the E minor and do the regular strumming pattern one single solitary time. Uno times, that's Spanish for one. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Then you switch to a G chord. Lift up your middle finger. Keep your pointer finger on the second fret of the second string from the top. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the top string. Then take your pinky and your ring finger and put them on the third frets of the bottom two strings. Do the strumming pattern twice on this chord. So it was once on the C major seven, once on the E, and twice on the G. I kind of like how we get to keep one finger in the same place for each chord switch. It's like first your middle finger is the like uh, bridge between the two chords and then your pointer finger gets to be the bridge. But then when you go from the G to the C, oh, then you lose your bridge. Okay, never mind. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Guys, let's play the verse all the way through. One, two, a little faster. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down. what's great. We're done with the song. We've learned the entire song. Listen to this. For the intro, you do the C major 7 twice, E minor twice, and you do that whole thing twice. That's the intro. Then for the verse, we do what we just did. C major 7, E minor, G. We do that quattro times in a row. Spanish for four. Surprised you didn't know that. Then we go to the chorus. The chorus is that exact same chord progression another four times. Just going C major 7, E minor, G twice. For the chorus, you're gonna do it three times loudly and then one time very quietly, as quietly as you can. Great. Then we go to the second verse, exactly the same as the first verse. You just do that chord progression four times. Then we go to the second chorus, literally exactly the same as the first chorus. You do the chord progression three times loudly, one time quietly. Then you get to the ending of the song and you just play those same chords two times through quietly, and then you're done. That's it. My name is Stuart Alexander Lehman Brown. I hope you you enjoyed. I I think that I I would like you to play the song, uh, upload a video, show me your progress. I don't know what that means. I've never said that before. I mean, if you upload a video, I'll watch it. But uh, it's not like a homework assignment. I don't know.